I've mentioned before that one of the reason is gas rate below the critical rate. So what's actually the critical rate? This is the theory. We can uh, do. We can uh, calculate the critical rate by do this balance. So in this annular flow, we have gas at the center of the tubing, whereas uh, there are droplets of liquid like this one. Also in the center of the tubing. Okay, so we have the dominant. The dominant phase is gas. The minor part is liquid droplets. This is the liquid droplets. Uh, it will move by drag force, go to the top, but it will drag down by the gravity. So it goes down to the balance between the gravity force and then the drag force. If gravity force wins, then we will have liquid loading. But if the drag force wins, then we will go up, the well will be healthy. But if they are balanced, if the gravity force equals the drag force, then we have, yes, status quo. We will not die. We will be relatively healthy, okay? Gravity force and then drag force. So we just do need some mathematics. It's not really that difficult. Maybe we can also neglect, neglect everything and then we just focus on the critical flow rate. This is the equation to calculate the critical flow rate coming from the Turner velocity. This is one of the most popular equation for determining the critical rate. From Turner, we go to flow rate. You can see it's quite easy, right? So if you want to calculate the critical flow rate, you need to know the pressure. P is velocity from the above. You, know, you, you need to know the area of the tubing. It's easy, area of the tubing, right? Uh, you need to know the temperature, Z factor. Okay, it's easy. If your flow rate, if your actual flow rate is higher than critical flow rate, then everyone's happy. But if your actual flow rate is smaller than critical flow rate, then it's dangerous because you will face liquid loading. You need to do the calculation at all the sections of the well bore, not only on the well head, not only on the bottom hole, all right? Yeah, you need to do simulation using well bore model, okay? Like this one. The red line, it's the critical flow rate. It's the in-situ flow rate. So on the left profile, we see that our actual in-situ velocity or flow rate is higher than the required critical rate. So it's healthy. This one, it seems good from the wellhead down to the packer because the, the, the green line always on the right side of the red line. But this is where we need to be careful. Below the packer, below the packer, we will see casing or we will see annulus. We will not see tubing. We will see a, a wider area. And in that way, the critical flow rate is below, I'm sorry, the in situ flow rate is below the required critical rate. And we will have liquid loading on the bottom. On the upper side, we can see that oh, we, have, we are healthy, but on the bottom, in the bottom, our liquids load up. That's the analysis for our uh, critical flow rate.